Well, what's up guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be covering Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke and Fry Williams, okay? Uh, this song's a good one to learn. I know it's a little old, but um, it just kind of keeps going round and round the same thing, so it doesn't take long to learn, you know? We have our G chord, D chord, and then a rundown. Okay, so it's not too complicated. Let's take a look at this first chord, we've got G major, alright? We have 3rd finger, 5th fret on the A string, pinky goes underneath, okay, 4th finger, 3rd, uh, sorry, 2nd finger is 4th fret on the G string, and then your 1st finger is going to cover 3rd fret on both of these strings, alright? B and E string. Now you want to try and curl your wrist over a bit so you can get this thumb on the third fret because we want to be able to go okay you hear that it's quite important to have this thumb all right and then we have d i'll go over the the rhythm in a little bit but let's just cover the chords first d major all right we've got open a open d first finger second fret g string Third finger, third fret, B string, second finger, second fret, E string. Alright? So, let's take a look at this rhythm and then I'll do the rundown a little bit later. So, we want to play the bass note and then the other chords, uh, the rest of the chords second. Okay, that's the first bit. And then you kind of release the pressure so they're muted. They're still on the strings but they're not down. Alright? Okay, I also use my right hand to, you see that, it mutes the strings, it kind of blocks them off, and we do that uh, a few times. Okay, we mute three times, so we go mute, mute, mute. Really confusing to say and play at the same time. So, bass hit everything, everything, everything. Bass hit everything. So we only do that for the first part. Then it's just the whole chord. All right. So. It's the same thing. Bass hit, 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 hit. Bass hit, 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 hit. Bass hit, hit, hit. Then we get to this rundown. So, what we have to do? Go to the fifth fret on the A string. Our seventh fret on the G string. There should be some dots on your guitar. All right. And you want to be able to hit all the strings like that, bah, but only have these two playing, okay? Now that's a challenge because you have to mute the other string. So the E string at the minute is being blocked because this is touching it, okay? That E string can't be, can't be ringing out for this. So you've got to kind of position this so it's touching the E string, all right? You also want to be blocking the D string. Okay, the D string is blocked by this finger. So this finger is kind of covering these three strings. All right, it's only playing A string. E string, A string, D string. All right. And then your pinky, you want to kind of have this note playing, but you want to also block the, um, the B and E string. You don't want those playing. So we want to be able to hit all of the strings, but we only have two notes playing, all right? And we kind of go, the second one's louder, quiet. So it gets tricky when we get to the A part because we run out of strings, all right? So what I tend to do is go, down, 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 down. Okay, I just play these two strings. A string and D string, A both, A both, to 
come back. A bows. Wow. All right. All right. You notice there's also a sort of a. So what you need to do is go. So you move these two down. Okay. Just temporarily. If you want to do that, you also have. If you want to do that. little things you can add you don't have to and the and then we go here if you want to add some variation um, there's a few things you can do okay so uh, we get to the rap okay let's just skip all the way forward we play the same thing now we get to the rap now one thing I ask you the one you bet, okay? Uh, at the end of the rap, we're gonna go into Take my get down. Get up. And do it like it hurt. Do it like it hurt. But you don't like work. Okay, so for that part, it, we can kind of break it down a bit and make this quieter. So all I'm doing is I'm keeping my hand against the string to make it quieter instead of. I'm going. Okay, my hand's always touching the strings for this breakdown. Just add some dynamics to the song. Okay. Okay. Okay, so for that part we can just do little stabs like I just played. So baby can you breathe? I got this from Jamaica. It always works for me to go to the uh -huh. Then go back in again. Alright. So that's sort of after the shake the bump. Get down. Alright, then we can have little stabs. Baby can you breathe? I got this from Jamaica. It always works for me to go to do it more pretending. All right, and so on. And then I believe we have another chorus, just the same thing. So this song is pretty much the same thing, just round and round, okay, for the most part. But as I've just shown you, you can just switch it up a little bit, just have stabs, or you can palm mute, make it quieter. Yeah, just do little things or add the... Okay, and obviously if you're playing along, you can sing the hey hey hey. Okay, do whatever you want to do, just to make it a little bit more interesting, because it's it is the same thing for most of the song. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this lesson's been helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.